Hello, my name is Katrina Benson, and I just woke from a very disturbing dream. In this dream, I wasn't myself. I was seeing it through the eyes of someone else. I was in Niagara Falls. When I was at Niagara Falls, um, life was going on. Um, it was a lot of activities going on around the mountains. It was cities around the mountains. It was even things built inside the mountains, like um certain activities and stuff like that and it was people who worked at uh, Niagara Falls I don't know if they was military government or whatever but it was places inside Niagara, Niagara Falls as well and um I was at Niagara Falls and it started shaking everybody knew it was an earthquake and it started shaking real bad and rocks started to fall um and people was running and everything for their life and when if when the first shaking stopped happening, um, people was telling other people to be calm and this and that, and uh, it's gonna be all right and all that. So the person um, who I was seeing their eyes through, they was like, "Oh no, we getting up out of here because it's not gonna stop." It's like God was showing this person it's not gonna stop. It ain't gonna stop. So I started going through the place, gathering people and telling them it ain't gonna stop. It ain't gonna stop. It's going to come back and it's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. And some people was listening to me. Some people wasn't. I saw a lot of people um, in this dream was into a lot of wickedness and evil. And they was thinking about themselves. They was thinking about the things of this world and nothing like that. So when I was telling them it's not the end, it's not the end, it's more to come. They wasn't listening to me. But some people did listen to me. And we kept running. We kept running. Then another earthquake earthquake came and they started shaking things and stuff started falling we uh we kept running we kept running i remember getting outside and it looked calm again and then we was walking and stuff through the mountains and then this the i saw airplanes fall a uh, airplane fall out the sky like it's like the earthquake was radiating into the sky because it shook the planes in the sky i don't know it was it was like that whole city was being shaken from the from the bottom to the top everything underground on ground and above ground was being affected by this earthquake and i saw something fall and i knew it was the earthquake and i and i and in the dream they were getting stronger and stronger and stronger so we ran we ran and i lost um most of the people i was with um except one and we ran to this couple who was outside and they was outside um you know, sitting in the grass and everything, a ways from the mountain. Um, we ran that far, and we ran over to them. We said, we got to go, we got to go. They was like, no, why, no, why? I said, because it's tornadoes. Y'all didn't see, I mean, it's uh, earthquakes. Y'all didn't see, hear the, feel the earthquake? Earthquakes is happening over there. We got to go, we got to go. So the wife was like, no, everything's fine. And at the time, the sky started turning gray, and the wind stopped picking up. And she was like, you feel that wind? The wind feels good. And I looked up at the wind. And in the wind, I saw, like, you know how mosquitoes look? Like a swarm of mosquitoes? Mosquitoes was flying in a circle like a tornado circle. And it was so many of them. And I looked at that. I said, no, it ain't right. Something ain't right. We got to go. We got to go. She said, you feel that breeze? It feels good. And she, like, sat in her lawn chair or something. Next thing I know, dark clouds surface over the mountains. And it happened so quick. Really dark clouds surface over the mountains. And then tornadoes just dropped many of them. It, had, it looked like it was at least in the 20s. Just drop, drop. They just fell down out the sky like rain. It's like... Its purpose was to destroy the people. And when I saw it drop, all of us took off running. It was some trees over there. And we took off running into these trees. And we tried to get deep down on the ground. Um, You know, like, trying to get deep on the ground. We laid back on the ground. And we tried to get... And it was so quick, the winds was on top of us. And we was coming. We was lifting up off the ground. And the trees... Like the limbs of the trees was holding us back. And one guy was on his way flying all the way up to the sky. And we just started praising God. We was like, God, I'll worship you. Lord, I'll praise you. We were just, we started singing songs. I never heard these songs before in real life. But 
the person who I was saying this through and the other people knew these songs and we just sung and we just sung these songs of praise and the, and the, and one guy was on his way up into the tornado and the Lord sent the, a vehicle flying over there. When the vehicle flew over there, it, it, it landed right over top of us but not on top of us and it kept all of us down. So the tornado couldn't suck us down. And we were so scared. But we, the more scared we got, the more we praised God. And we praised God. And we praised God. And I woke up. And when I woke up, I woke up hysterical. It was so real. It was so real. I saw that we were in Niagara Falls. I saw that it affected not, not only Niagara Falls, the mountains, but the surrounding city. I saw it. It was the wrath of God. And the only reason why the, the person who I was seeing it through and the other people were spared. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord just said, just as in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, I will shield my people. Oh my goodness. Lord said, the Lord is showing me right now scriptures of when he saved his people before his wrath came. Oh, if you do not know Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, know him now. Know him now. How do you know him? You surrender your life to him. You pray to him. Oh, you got to receive you got to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died and risen for your sins. And you got to choose this day to serve him. You got to invite him into your heart. You got to live to please him. You got to get to know him, build a relationship with him. Read the word to know who he is. If you backslid and come back because God's wrath is upon this earth. I heard a lot of people saying it. God never showed, hasn't shown it to me that vividly in a little while, but he showed it to me. It's coming. It's coming. God bless.